What is up, Daybreak Community Church? Um, seems like forever since I got a chance to record another video, uh, but here I am again in front of the camera. I wanted to reach out to you all and tell you about the new sermon series coming up at Daybreak Church. For those of you who've been looking forward, anticipating the study in James, that is coming. But we're pushing it back a month or so in order to couple it with what we're going to do is a, a church-wide small group study. And I'm really excited to share that with you. That's going to be church-wide small group study going through James as we preach through James. Really looking forward to that in the fall. But in the meantime, I wanted to talk to you about our new study called Together. And I know exactly what many of us are thinking when you read that word, because it's exactly what I was thinking when I saw that word, which is how can we do a study called Together when it's never been harder to actually be together? And, and it is true. Assembling as the bride of Christ, as the church, that has become unusual and oftentimes difficult uh, prospect these days especially. That has been a source of sadness in my life, a source of frustration. I'm sure it's been a source of sadness and frustration for many of you as well. But out of that frustration, out of that sadness, out of that difficulty, the need for this study series became more and more clear to me. We need to allow scripture to remind us, encourage us again, what it means to be the church together. We are as together as we ever have been in the unity of the Spirit. Whether we're meeting in the same room, whether we're tuning in online, whether we're listening to a recorded message later on in the week, we are not together based on proximity. We're together based on the Spirit that bonds us. So this study... This together study is going to be based on the early church practices that we find in Acts chapter 2. And we'll be talking about what it looks like to be the church, what it looks like to do church. Some of that is sometimes, of course, based on proximity. But all of that is always built on being united in the love and the grace and the fellowship of the Lord. If that hasn't changed, Daybreakers. Many other things have changed. That hasn't changed. What unites us hasn't changed. What it means to be the church together is that you and I are as much part of this faith family, as much a vital part of this body, whether you've been in the building or not for the last four years. We're not unified by proximity. We don't glorify a crowd. Whether we meet in person or we meet online, we are always about the business of glorifying the Lord. That is what brings us together. What we'll find in Acts chapter 2, I think, and in studying other scripture, is that we can still be about God's business as a church, even in these days. We're still united together because we're united by the presence of God. In fact, this study kind of marks a changing point, I hope, in, in, in kind of the trajectory and the direction of our church. Uh, I lived in Vermont, I think, for about six months before I finally took my truck to the DMV to get it registered here in this state. I, I was driving around in a truck that still said New Mexico on the license plate, right? Still had that yellow and, and red license plate on it. I was living here, but I wasn't moving in. I wasn't getting comfortable. I wasn't making the place I was in my home. I wasn't choosing to th thrive here in that way. And that's what you do when you aren't quite ready to move forward when you're living like you're passing through a moment. My, my in-laws visited last weekend and they didn't even unpack their bags and, and why would they, right? They just lived out of their bags because they knew they'd be leaving again. It's time to unpack our bags. It's time not just to maintain, it's time to move forward. To move forward as a church, to move forward as the body of Christ. Jesus didn't tell us to make disciples when everything was easy and when everything was going our way and everything was comfortable. We are going to go into the world and, and train people. We are to go into the world and train people to follow him no matter what. This series, this is a reminder that we are unified, we are still unified as a church, that we are still together as a church, that we are still together in our mission to love on Chittenden County, to grow up disciples in our community, to have Jesus' name on our lips. That is our mission, not for some time in the future, 
not for when we're ready to move into some place in the future. That is our mission now. And it's time to move in and to embrace that mission now. And so with that in mind, I'd like to share with you our plan for the next few weeks as we embark on this series called Together Together. <laughs> We're gonna try a few new things. We're gonna try out some new ideas, looking for ways to honor the Lord and to serve our community today. And so I wanna start with this announcement. We're, we're introducing four ways that daybreakers can, can gather together as a church community, can be about the business of glorifying the Lord and growing up together as a church community. Some of these ways will be familiar. Um, some of them will be new. <clears throat> First, we're starting something we're calling uh, the sunrise service at daybreak. Now, this service is really designed with the intention of creating a worship space for the more vulnerable in our members in our community. Service will begin at 8.30 at Daybreak Church. Attendance will be limited to only 25% of our uh, building's capacity. We won't be offering musical worship during this service, but we'll be exploring other creative ways of honoring and seeking the Lord um, together in worship. We will, be, we will be worshiping through the study of God's word as we follow along and continue. Uh, we will hear sermons from this sermon series um, in the sunrise service. And we'll obviously have time for, for corporate prayer, for corporate response um, as a congregation as well. And again, this service is a little bit of an experiment. We're, we're all learning together uh, as we grow, as we unpack our bags in this season that we're in. But this truly is an effort to move in to the reality we find ourselves and to continue to grow in our mission to build one another up as followers of Christ. So that's the first opportunity. The second opportunity for gathering will be pretty familiar. We're continuing to offer our regular service, which I'm calling our late service here because it's gonna be the second service that happens on Sunday mornings. That'll be at 10.30 every Sunday morning as, as, as per usual. Um, in many ways that will continue to function and meet in, in the ways in which we are, we are kind of accustomed. We'll meet as it, as it has, has kind of been meeting traditionally. Registration for that service will continue to be required. All the safety measures will continue to be in place. Um, and, and we're gonna continue meeting as a church in that way at 10.30, from 10.30 to noon. Uh, and I should mention also, uh, we will continue live streaming that service to Facebook, which really brings me to the third option for meeting together, which is our online live stream. I've loved the chance, just personally, after the service, one of my favorite things to do is to go through the comments on our live stream and see the people who are tuning in, who are watching together, who are sharing just a word of encouragement to, another, to one another. That stuff matters. It's a way that we embrace community in the reality we find ourselves in. It's unfamiliar, it's weird, but it's one of the ways that we truly love on one another on Sunday mornings. I love going through those comments. It, it, sharing that moment is powerful. It's an important thing to do, even as you're at home, to reach out and to connect with people who are in their homes watching at the same time. So we're gonna continue doing the live stream. We're gonna work to provide more ways you can interact with the service online, some follow-up notes provided by the preacher. Um, we'll try to engage in interaction and fellowship um, in that scene as well. So that's number three. Finally, I'll introduce you to our fourth idea, which is a kind of a new concept for us called microchurch. A lot of communities are uh, doing this across the country, and to me it seems like a great opportunity for Daybreak both to continue meeting together and perhaps to start reaching out and drawing people in. Microchurches take place at home, so you can either uh, sign up to be a host home, or you can sign up to attend a micro church. The idea is that you'll meet with the same small group of uh, people week in and week out. And this creates a safer environment, but just as importantly, it creates an environment for discipleship and for connection. If you join a micro church, you'll meet, you'll visit together, you'll watch that week's recorded sermon from that, from that Sunday, and you'll have a chance to discuss the message and to interact with the message together. I think that micro churches are gonna be a great way to connect with other daybreakers or even to invite friends who might not be comfortable attending a church service, but would be comfortable joining you in your home. 
I'll just say one last thing as we build up engaged responses, we're hoping to connect people who are interested with one another. So it's a little bit of experiment. We're going to be learning uh, this as we grow together. Just want to encourage you sign up as early as possible so we can really gauge the response and people's interests. We've got to grow into this new place that we find ourselves in. We've got to unpack our bags. We've got to embrace new and, and um, unfamiliar <laughs> opportunities. We've got to be God's light in the world we live in. Not tomorrow, not when it's comfortable, not when we can go back to what we're familiar with, but we've got to do that today. So these are our four options. It's a four week, a month long experiment, whether you choose uh, the sunrise service at 8.30 on Sunday morning, or you choose to just attend the late service at 10.30, or you choose to live stream um, the late service there at 10.30 as well, or you choose to host or attend a micro church. We are on this journey together. We are being and doing church together. Signups for these four options, for the sunrise service, for the late service, for micro church, um, those will open up Sunday afternoon, Sunday the second afternoon, and those, those events will kick off the following Sunday, the 9th. Let's be reminded in this moment, God defines this church, not the season, not the situation, but the Lord tells us who we are and reminds us whose we are. I'm grateful to be on this journey with you, Daybreakers. And I'm looking forward to seeing ways that God opens up doors for us as we move into this time, as we unpack our bags, as we, as we lean in and embrace what God has for us even in these days.